What's going on, family? Just wanted to drop in and talk real quick on um about how most of us, most of your family, most of a lot of people you know are in Christianity or in religion. And if not Christianity, there's something else. But one thing about Christianity that the majority of black people are in Christianity. And I just had a question because something you have to think about as far as growth, like you're different. Like if you're a person who's 20 years old, they're different than when they was 10 years old. When you're 30, you're different from when you was 20. When you're 40, different when you was 30 and so on and so on. But you have a gradual levels of um, consciousness that you should go to as well. Like you shouldn't be stuck in um, the sixth or seventh grade when you should have been graduated 13 years ago or more. That can make you a person who may have some pathological pathologies, uh, you know, some issues up here mentally. And I wanted to ask that about the Christian people who are in Christianity because does Christianity make you stop using your critical thinking faculties that you were given? We all have a brain, we all have a mind, and they're actually trying to deconstruct and slow down the process of our thinking and shut down our critical thinking faculties with the food that we eat now. You know, with the sugar and the other processed food, like you go to the store, everything is in boxes. In your cabinet, everything is in boxes. And you have to think, what all process did that have to do? What processes did all of that have to do to put it in a box? What all did it have to go through? But using your critical thinking faculties, you have to match and think about things that some of the stories that you have read in the Bible. Um, we can start off in Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heaven, and on the first day, He did this. On the second day, He did that. And who was writing that down? Somebody, okay, someone was writing that down when that was happening, or was somebody downloaded that information? Okay, well, if you want to use that, and somebody had a revelation and God told them, okay, we can use that. Okay, let's move on with Genesis and let's say Adam and Eve's story. Now, <clears throat> Adam is formed out of clay and it's not good. And he named all the animals of the land. He named all the animals of the land. And he, it was not good for man to be alone. So God took him and put him to sleep and took a rib out of him and made woman. Okay, you still want to believe that? Okay. Now, we move on to them having children. Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. Or, or yeah, we, no, we look at, we look at what's sick with Adam and Eve before they had Cain and Abel. So, the snake, a talking snake, made Adam, made Eve um, bite the apple. Now, you have to remember in European male chauvinistic thought, they do not like the woman. You know, in your trinity, they replace the woman with a ghost. In the Bible, the, the, the bad person in the Bible who got us all in this was a woman, Eve. So they put a lot of blame on the woman. So let's see, let's say she talked to a, she talked to a talking snake. All right, Cain and Abel, Cain slew his brother. And we can, we can move on from that. Cain slew his brother Abel. And then Cain was put out of the garden and he went and he known, he, he married another woman in the city of Nob, N-O-B or N-O-D, I think it is. Now, it's other stories that you have to, you know, when you're young, people can tell you things and have you thinking things when you're young, but it comes to a point in your life that you have to know that, you know, like the Bible says in Corinthians, when I was a child, I thought as a child, but then I put away childish things. But it comes to a point in your life where 
even your child, even your little child, if you have any children, one or two, three years old, even five or six, um, whatever their favorite cartoon person is, or if they have a, a doll or what's used, Mickey Mouse. Um, so, so, you know, that's universal. What is it? Um, Disneyland. What's used, Mickey Mouse for the child? You can make your child believe that Mickey Mouse is God or that Mickey Mouse died for you. And that child can actually believe that up into adulthood unless they're interrupted with the correct information. So I just wanted to see, you know, like, is what's going on with people? You got people 60, 70 years old still believing that um, a man was in the belly of a whale for three days and stuff. So I just wanted to drop this. My battery's about to go out. I mean, my camera's about to shut off. But you all think about that. One love family. I just wanted to just ask that question. I hope everyone is well, and I hope you enjoy this day. Peace.